Nobody here but us pigs. She's dancing to the music. Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. I do truly appreciate it. Today is a special day for me because it's Sun Tup Editions Day. I got a box in the mailbox. The friendly neighborhood mail lady hooked a brother up. I gotta get this book out. There's a book in here and I gotta get that mother out. Uh, numbered edition Sun Tups, when they show up at my house, it's about as good as it gets. One of my absolute favorite publishers. I do truly dig it. And this one is a numbered edition of Animal Farm by George Orwell. Ever hear of it? And it's it's exciting and it's nervous at the same time. There's been a little bit of talk about some of these books having some character to the spine. So the, the spine is, uh, I guess, three-quarter vellum, flat back spine. Does look sweet. They've published other stuff similar. I would say that this I Am Legend might be similar to that. But a few people have put pictures online of the book that came with a letter. The book had some coloration to the spine, I guess you could say. Instead of just being a creamy white, had some coloration. Some said it looked kind of cool, but it was an unexpected design characteristic on some books. And what I'm told is with those books with that unexpected design character there was an included letter from Suntup Editions essentially saying this if you're not happy with this product you can either a send it back for a full refund or b keep the book and we can give you 25 percent refund essentially in store credit so 25 percent of the purchase price you could get a a gift card, an online gift card emailed to you to buy something on Suntup's website. And some of the pictures I saw, they actually look kind of cool. So I'm not sure, do I want the creamy, perfect white spine? Or do I want one with some character and perhaps a gift card? I don't know. Uh, being selfish, I think I just want to know. I want to get it open and find out. Schrodinger's cat, I both have a perfect creamy white spine. And I also have... At this point, a one with some added character to it and a possibility of getting 25% gift card. I don't know. Either way, I'm cool. So like I said, Sun Tup Editions is one of my absolute favorites. I would say this, my favorite. Because while I love so many for so many reasons, or I love a few for reasons, with Sun Tup, it feels like to me, it's the best of the things I go for most consistently. You can see quite a few. Uh, that I have here and some have a whole lot more but I keep the ones I dig is kind of how I work but with all that talking it's just what I do let me open this thing up and see what she'll look like let's get her open so as with all Sun Tup Editions books they come in an oversized box which is something I really really prefer because I want to make sure that when I buy a book especially when I pay good cash money for it that I get it in the mail and I open it up and it's in premium condition. I don't want my stuff getting busted up in the mail because it wasn't packed properly or securely. And Sun Tup Editions takes care of that. Look, let's open this box up and you'll see you got foam, foam on top, thick foam, protecting the book from stuff here. The book is also wrapped in foam with foam underneath. So. The, uh, uh, get that out, and we jump right in to the Sun Tup Editions book-specific bookmark that comes with the books. And I, I already showed you the artist edition of this book. It has features the same artwork, artwork from Omar Ryan, and it's really, really cool, really, really good. This one also features an introduction by Richard Blair, Animal Farm, A Fairy Story. I dig these, I dig these bookmarks. I end up taking them, and I put them in a in a sleeve that I buy on Amazon like that and put them all together and there they go. So that's the bookmark. Let's go a little bit farther. This book is wrapped 
in a slip case and man i do love slip cases so let's keep the spoiler we won't show you the spine just yet but i didn't see a note so <laughs> anyway that that might tip it off on what we're talking about here but our uh our slip case you you have hanamule bugra i think that's what you call it letter press printed and let me get this out here all right so we have the let's get this slip case and take a good look at it this slip case is velour lined and if you want to reach in there and feel it it is soft. It, I, I've, I don't know what velour, I can't tell you all the stuff, but it, it's got a felt type sensation to it, only not thick. So a thin felt almost is what I would say the velour feels like. It's wrapped in a Hanamule Bugra paper. And this design here, you can take a look. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Printed letterpress with uh, the ends. This is something that they've started doing on quite a few of the slip cases is wrapping the ends in uh, cloth and uh, a european cloth i think is what they described here and it helps to protect as you got this paper wrapped over the ends they maybe run the risk of it fraying tearing whatever so this cloth protects it and it looks nice it adds a little bit of a finished touch to it when it's up on the shelf but a very beautiful slip case i love it i dig slip cases and sun tuff editions really makes them look good and that label on the back looks so great. So for people who like to put their stuff on the shelf the wrong way, a Sun Tup Edition slipcase does look nice when you do it like that. But let's get this book out and jump right to it. There's my spine. What's my spine look like? <laughs> there, there's the spine of Animal Farm on my numbered edition. So flat spine. I don't see any kind of discolorations. And I, here's the, the foil stamping on the end. Some of the pictures, one or two, I can't remember. I don't know. It seems like a person or two I saw on the Sun Tup Collectors Facebook group did talk about some concerns with the foil stamping. I don't, I don't know if I remember actually seeing that or, or hearing it described, but it looks, looks beautiful. I'll tell you right now at this point, have it open the book up looks flawless and it looks amazing not only is it a great book and was i so excited to be able to get this numbered edition version of it but man it's beautiful beautiful so the 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 vellum quarter wrapped spine flat end and then you have the hanamule bugra letter press boards just like with the, with the slip case there but take a good close look it's not, it, from a distance, it looks just like a design, but in here, there's a whole lot more to it. So just take a look, maybe pause, see if you can read that there. It looks so nice. I'm so pleased. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, first of all, let's jump to the back. Typically, Sun Tup Editions will have their limitation pages in the back with a few exceptions, but like I said, typically back here, and this, this book is printed on premium Mohawk via paper, and it is letterpress printing. And that letterpress printing really attracts a whole lot of fans in the fine press books. Just that simple fact alone really makes a lot of people interested. But here is my, my limitation page, the signature page towards the back of the book. Uh, occasionally, I'll see folks saying, oh, mine is missing the page because you look at the front. But... Look in the back, some of these publishers do it. Sun Tup, Centipede Press, others do it, but put them in the back. And this one is copy number 37 of 350 numbered copies. Printed letter press on premium Mohawk via paper. And have a look at Omar Ryan's signature. It looks so cool. He's an artist to make sure he has a artistic signature. <clears throat> and then also signed by Richard Blair, who wrote the intro to the book. And I just flipped forward one more page and you can see George Orwell with the, looks like a newbie. I don't know what kind of goat it is. He's got short hair with a goat. How's that? The goat. He's got a goat. So let's go back to the front, back to the front. <laughs> there are our end papers. The, the book, it fit, wasn't tight in the slipcase. It fit normally, but opening the book, 
it is it is uh, stiff opening the book and for a book like this I want to be careful I don't want to pull the thing wide open not for any other reason other quality but for me it's not a reading copy I've read this book multiple times I've got reader copies available for me but it's to me this is more of a collectible so some folks buy premium edition books to, to read that book I have I've read some but for the most part I read the books, usually uh, most economically priced soft covers I can get used is best because they cost less. I like to be able to read a book with no fear, no concern whatsoever to what happens to that thing in my hands, in my pocket, in my Jeep, in my suitcase. I want to be able to read it and not worry about it. Whereas this thing, I'm going to have to sit at a table very gently holding it making hoping my hands don't get too sweaty or anything like that but anyway it's uh opening it up this i'm not an expert on making stuff but this vellum i'm sure it has to be shaped and molded to get that that flat spine there and i would reckon that's probably gonna make a book like this a little bit stiff no problem not for me because i'm not reading it if you're reading it well then you're gonna want to carefully open this thing up and make sure that you don't cause any creasing or damaging or something like that as you would uh, uh, like somebody might break the spine on a soft cover book but let's go through here i want to find the artwork like i said we showed the artwork on the artist edition and it's amazing stuff and let's just open it up right here and show you so yeah, i'm already opening this <laughs> this book up because i want to look inside and see this V U T, and man, it, it it does look nice. This is one to me. It's very very pleasing. A great book and an amazing, an amazing production. Uh, now, some folks are not happy that their spine of their book has some discoloration. So when I saw it, it's got some dark discoloration kind of going across here, and it actually looks cool. Uh, it really does. It looks cool. So I don't know. I almost kind of wish. I don't know. I don't say I wish. Having it look just the way it's supposed to look is very good. But in a way, some part of me kind of liked the character of of that one that I saw. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's move on. And I'll show you some more of the artwork in here. And it's just amazing stuff. It looks so good. And I said, like I said, it's letterpress printed premium mohawk via paper and i can i can feel it it does look nice feel it feel it it looks nice and this paper is thick thick quality so when you handle this book you know you're handling quality touch the paper careful now don't mess it up cost me a few bucks and i don't want to mess it up but uh, i'm going to go through here and find some more artwork i just pass right by it so let me take it out for you beautiful stuff uh, what a great book what a great author so from george orwell i say great author orwell's i've read two books the obvious ones this animal farm and 1984 and i did dig them both now i read 1984 long long time ago and i almost wasn't going to read animal farm i don't know what it is for me but books about talking animals i don't know i wouldn't say it turns me off but it's just not something i'm gonna go read but so many people really dug this book and i i like the animal farm i mean i like 1984 so at some point i read animal farm and it was fun it was uh it's relatively short book so it did prompt multiple reads and some of these characters i really dig and it's got some characters that you really dislike and it 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 talks about a lot of things and this is a story that kind of means different things to different people it's a kind of book that people will po point to one group and say yeah watch out for those people and then these people will point to this group and say yeah watch out for those people and to some just like 1984 they'll say it's a warning against those people or those people but they mean a lot it means a lot to a lot of people great book great story Flipping through here, Orwell's preface to the Ukrainian edition of Animal Farms. So some extra things included. 
And uh, I'll, I said it, and I'll say it again, absolutely happy, so beautiful. It's about as nice as it can get for me. Uh, everything I hoped for, everything I need. Stop singing, don't do that stuff. Anyway, you are so beautiful to me. And at that, I can think of no more lies to tell. So thank you for your time. I do truly appreciate it. Say la vie, baby. Doo -doo. Hmm. <laughs>